Welcome to Highline Excel class number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upside link, and you can download the workbook. Uh, this workbook right here. Uh, and if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 2 website. Hey, uh, we're going to talk about date functions here in this video. Uh, start off with uh, just some simple ones and then see how you might use them in uh, business. Hey, today, the equals today function, it's an ar argumentless function. It means there's no argument. You just open parentheses, close parentheses. And it is a volatile function. It'll always, when you open it up tomorrow, it'll give you tomorrow's date. So right now, when I'm shooting this, 4, 5, 2009. Another function is now. And this one will give you the date and the time. Another argumentless function. So uh, 142, uh, April 5th. Now. Well, these are format as we talked about before. So if you control one and get rid of all the format and go back to general, you, it's important to note two things about today and now. Today gives you an integer. We know that any date is the number of days since December 31st, 1899. And time is a proportion of one 24 hour day. So that's why this has time that after the decimal point this direction is time, that's the date. Control Z for undo. Now the day function, day, month, year, uh, they are handy for data analysis and also for const constructing dates. Now day, month, and year can just look at a date and tell you what day, month, or year it is. So equals, and this one's going to be day of that, and it will tell you that it's the number one. Equals month of this will tell you that it's the first month. Uh, equals year of this will tell us that it is the year. Now, if I change this one here to 3, right? The this date this tells us that it's the third month. If I change this to the uh, 30th, this will say there's it's the 30th day, the month is still the same. And if I change this to uh, how about uh, 2 slash 29 slash 2008. It says uh, that there's 20. This is the 29th day. This is the second month and the year 2008. And what if you put in something like uh, 37? Uh, it doesn't know that that's a date because there's not 37 uh, days possible, and you get the value error. That means the input to this formula is incorrect. Control Z. Uh, date, the date function equals date, and we'll see an amazing use for this in just a moment. But the basics of date, it is a function that allows you to construct uh, an official date. You put in the year, the month, and the day. So watch this. I'm going to put 2009, comma, 1, comma, one. So the month is one, the day is one, and the year is 2009. And it will make a date for you. Uh, a couple, I guess I did that example right there. A couple interesting uses for the date function is um, equals, or the date can handle funny numbers. We saw up here that day, month, and year couldn't handle a 37, right? But the date can. So if I say the year, um, is 2009, 2009, and the month is 1, and the day is 0. There's no 0 day. Well, the date function can handle that. It, If we put 1 here, right, it would be just like what we did up here. Except for if I put a 0 here, it knows to go backwards a day, because 1 below 1 is 0, so it goes back. And this is a clever way of getting the last day of last year. Similarly, you could see here I have this example. We put a 0 there, so it gave us that date. Because it is 1 day. This zero, 1 here gives us this, but 0 gives us this. Also, this one here, if you put in 32, it knows how to go forward, too. So if I type equals date, and I'm going to put 2009, comma, 1 comma 32. Well, there's not 32 days in January 1st, but it knows to go to February 1st. And so there we go. And uh, later, there's interesting uses. And you got to know that the date function can handle weird numbers. 
Now, I want to do a, a couple examples. Um, I don't think I did the edate function up here. Um, I need to show you the e. Oh, here's the edate right here. This is edate. Um, here's a date, 5-1-2009. And a lot of times, you want to go five months forward. So for um, short-term loan contracts or invoices due, or something like that. You want to just take this date and add five months. Well, you can't just add 30 days times five because there's different days in each month. So that's where the E date equals E date. And it, uh, well, you give it a start date, whoop, comma, and the number of months backwards or forwards, and it'll just calculate it for you. It knows leap year and everything. It knows February when it has 28 days, when it has 29. So now we're going to go five months forward, and that gives us 10 1. Again, this is a brilliant function for invoicing, uh, loan contracts, things like that. It goes backwards, too. So if I take this, comma, this minus 5 right there, <coughs> it'll go backwards. So 12 minus uh, 2000, uh, 12 1, 2008 is five months before that. So e date, it's a great function. Now here's an example of one you can use the e date. Uh, we have higher date, and we're vesting for a pension plan in 10 years, which means you get your pension plan. You you, you qualify fully, but you have to work there 10 years. So watch this. We're going to use the e date. We simply take their higher date, comma, and how many months in the future? Oh, well we don't have months. Oh, I'm going to take years here times 12. There's an example of a number that does not, we're never going to change the number of months in one year, so it's okay to hard code that into your formula. And there it is, there is his vest date. Um, and here's, uh, this function isn't in er, some earlier versions of Excel, so you have to do some pretty tricky footwork. But if you know how to use the date function, you can get around it really quite easily. So I'm going to say date, and all we need is the year, month, and day. Watch this. We have the year function, right? Remember, the year function will look here and say, oh, 1999, right? So we got year function. And watch this. I'm going to highlight this right here and hit my F9 key, which is evaluate. That's just to show you that that's what that part, that year function is evaluating to, Control-Z. And now I can simply add this 10, right? So we're using the date function. And right now, instead of typing in, you know, whatever 10 years in advanced is, I'm putting that number 2009 in there, but with a formula. That way, if I had a whole column of employees, I could just have this one formula, and it would do them all. So there's the year, comma, the month. We just do M month of this, comma, and then we do day of that. The only thing, we, the tricky thing here we had to do was figure out how to get a year 10, uh, 10 years in the future. So there it is, three arguments for date function. And we use the year, month, and day. Hey, we used four functions in one. Control, Enter. They both give you the same thing. This one's much easier. All right, um, one last example for year, month, and date. And this is very common. You have a little database, and your boss says, hey, look, I, I want you to calculate the year, month, and day for each one of these. And the reason why is later in this class when we do data analysis, uh, sometimes you need the year and the month. So you want to do some conditional summing or something. And so that's where this year, month, and day function comes in. You actually add columns to your database. And this is a little database. Oh, I only have you know like 50 records. But uh, it's you could easily have 10,000 records. And so then this comes in really handy. The year. You just click there, control enter, and then double click and send it down. Hey, notice the numbers are changing. I have formulas that are randomizing there. Equals month, <clears throat> right? So now it would be easy to summarize, to do some uh, summarization just on month five. I think that's May, right? January, February, May. And then day equals day. Now, day comes in handy, maybe um, uh, maybe not so much for summarizing, but uh, um, or it, we, but lots of situations. We'll, we'll talk about some of them later. But there it is. We added these extra uh, columns here uh, with year, month, and day. All right, uh, we will see you next video.